reporting from Broadway Bank, downtown Kerrville. With me, I have Mr. Chris Cheever, who is a generation, third generation, third generation uh, owner of Broadway Bank here in Kerrville. And we have uh, the pleasure of having them be our major sponsor this year for our lighted parade and our lighting of our Christmas tree. So you'll see that shortly. Right now, I'm going to let Chris tell us a little bit about the bank and what he's got uh, in store for our community and surrounding area. Chris? Thank you. Well, we've been in this market for 25 years in Kerrville. The bank has uh, been uh, in operation for 80 years. We started out of San Antonio. My grandparents started the bank in uh, 1941, and we're, we're a community bank. Uh, we love giving back to the community. We're happy to be the uh, parade sponsor this year, and we look forward to uh, a successful event. Amen, amen. And you're originally from? I'm originally from San Antonio, born and raised. Super, super. We're so happy to have them in our hill country. I know that they have several branches. I think it's 35 branches. Correct. In the area, uh -huh. uh, in Texas, right? Right, South Central Texas. We're the, I believe we're the largest independently owned family bank in South Texas. And we're not for sale. We'll be here forever. Uh, we're, we we ten, intend to operate the business into perpetuity. And, and all our people are from this region, and all the decisions are made locally, so I think that's a good benefit. Very good benefit. Another thing is uh, most of your employees are all for local employees? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Kerrville, they're all from here. Uh, uh, we have uh, branches in Austin, Texas, too, and uh, those financial centers are run by people from those areas. It's been always been part of our DNA to do that. Uh, those are the people that can make the decision, proper decisions on credit issues and et cetera. Uh, it's important to have people that are from those locations because they're going to know the, the locale better than anybody else. So, Chris, what do you uh, can tell our audience that makes Broadway different from everybody else? I, I think for us, it's we're not a pump and dump operation. We're not a big box bank. We don't come into these markets to make a quick buck and then leave. Uh, we're in it for the long haul. We're into long-term relationships. Uh, and I believe that's uh, the, the, the value of what we add to the, uh, and we're looking for good relationships over time. Well, amen. Thank you very much, Chris. We look forward to the lighted parade. Hope to see you there. Thank you. I hope I can get some good bling like this. Yes. Uh, when I come back. Coming to you from Broadway Bank, downtown Kerrville. This is Rose Elf. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amber Thomason from State Farm. My name's JC. I'm Liz. I'm Karina. And from our family to yours, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, my name's Jeff Neal. My name's Tanner Brown. My name's Gunnar Brown. From the Kerrville Fire Department family to yours, we wish you, we wish you a Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Hey, Justin McClure with Jam Broadcasting here, and we are here with Natalie of Gold Cup Live. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right, so tell us a little bit about what Gold Cup Live is about. Gold Cup Live is a crazy, crazy little business. It's mostly multifaceted. So we have size inclusive clothing. We have James Avery jewelry, uh, pre-owned authentic handbags, Southwestern jewelry, gifting, you name it, we have it, truly. So some of the, uh, I know that you guys carry a lot of James Avery items. And, yes. and some of the cool uh, parts about what you guys do, you have some of the items that have been retired, correct? Yes, absolutely. We actually, I would say we specialize in pre-owned James Avery, um, and we get some of those super rare retired pieces that are so hard to find. We have them in store for sale. Wow, so if you're looking for that hard to buy person, especially those that like the James Avery <laughs> items, you have to come by and take a look at what they have. Now, um, layaway options are available too, correct? Yes, absolutely. We actually offer layaway up to 10 months no interest. The only things we don't offer for layaway are the clothing. So any handbag, all of the jewelry you can put on layaway. You can put it on layaway as little as 30 days, but up to 10 months. All right. So one of the big uh, talks of the town is the whole supply chain thing. Yes. Um, uh, you, do, you guys do ship, but, but the deal yes. is, is if you're looking for a Christmas item, 
Uh, you don't want to rely on if your your item's going to get right. here or not. And Absolutely. so uh, you can walk into the storefront and actually <laughs> hand somebody money and take the item with you, <laughs> which crazy. is a cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yes, absolutely. We have tons and tons of gifts already in stock on hand. Of course, we do ship. We usually ship same day if you uh, purchase online, but we do have things you can just take with you today. All right. And uh, one of the opportunities that you also have to look at a bunch of items that are in the shop are on your live program that you do. Yes. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, Gold Cup Live. So Gold Cup Live, it's kind of like QVC. I'm going to show things live and you just purchase it right then and there. It's really, really, really fun. I have to say all of our new arrivals are on there. We do fun sales. We do giveaways all the time. It's really fun and you can watch them on my free app, Gold Cup Live, or through Facebook at Gold Cup Live. All right, good deal. So uh, check that out. When are the shows? The shows are Tuesday through Friday at 6 p.m. That's All right, it. <laughs> good deal. So uh, online or here in person, uh, make sure that you stop by. Now give us the address of the shop here. We're at 233 Earl Garrett. All right, so uh, come on in uh, for those uh, unique Christmas gifts. Uh, you won't find a better place in all of Kerrville uh, than right here at Gold Cup Live. Thank you so much. Chester and I'm the owner broker for Century 21 The Hills Realty here in the beautiful hill country. From our family to yours, we wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I'm Raymond Gallego with Prime Meadow Bending Components here in Kerrville. From our family to yours, we'd like to say Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Good evening, everybody. I'm here once again, and I'm here today at uh, Fairy Moon Emporium, and I am with Pam and Christy. Christy and Pam, tell us a little bit about your store here. What do you provide and how many vendors do you uh, currently have? Well, we have 14 different booths with over 20 different vendors. Okay. We have anything from artist creations to antiques, fun stuff, weird stuff, jewelry, uh, metaphysical items, and much, much more. Okay. Guys, if you walk into this store, you can definitely find all kinds of different things, anything from stones to beautiful artwork that you can purchase for yourself or for someone especially during the holiday season you definitely want to come out here and check them out make sure that uh, you look through the store because there is all kinds of different uh, items and goods that you can definitely find for your loved ones or yourself like i said um, tell us a little bit about your location where are y'all located and how um, what are y'all's hours of operation especially during this holiday season well we're located at 227 earl garrett in Kerrville, Texas, and we're closed on Sundays and Mondays, but we're open Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 5.30 and Saturday 10 to 6 for your shopping convenience. Perfect. So as you can tell, there's a lot of flexible hours that you can come out here and shop and make sure that you shop locally. Of course, that's definitely something that we are promoting to make sure that you keep that shopping local for um, our community. Um, Tell us a little, a little bit about your social presence. Where can they find you as far as uh, online and uh, Everything Facebook? Everything we have is the Fairy Moon Emporium. Uh, we have a website, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, and it's all the Fairy Moon Emporium. So they can purchase these items, whatever you have on the store, can they also purchase those online or do, would they Some have to come by? Some during special sales. Okay. Not, yes, like a Moonlight Madness sale. Okay. Yes. And talking about special sales, what kind of sales are you going to be having uh, during the holiday season? You never know what these two girls are going to come up with, <laughs> but it will be fun no matter what. No matter what. <laughs> there you have it, guys. So make sure that you follow them on Facebook. Make sure that you keep an eye on um, what's coming up, what kind of events they're going to be having for y'all to... Uh, so that you are able to come out here and check them out. Very reasonable prices, and like I said, you can find all kinds of different goods out of here. So make sure you stop by and see them. And they are located again. At 227 Earl Garrett. Downtown Kerrville. Make downtown. sure you stop by and visit with them. Thanks. Hey, this is Brian with Yomo Music. We just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, this is Vicki Love, and this is my mom, Rosie. And most of y'all know us from Sunrise Antique Mall in downtown Kerrville. We just want to say... Thank you for shopping with us and wish you a merry, merry Christmas and a happy, happy new, new year. year. Hey, Justin McClure with Jam Broadcasting. I'm here with Lonza from the Kerr Arts and Cultural Center. And uh, she's gonna tell us a little bit about what display is going on right now at the museum. Yes, yeah, so right now we have the Texas Furniture Maker Show. It's the 22nd annual uh, show. And what the show does is uh, give Texas furniture makers a place to show and sell their work, but it also encourage, encourages people who are getting started in furniture making to improve on their craft and to learn and to, to get to this the scale that some of these folks are making furniture. Wow, and, yeah. and, and if you are a carpenter, you've got to come and see the furniture show that's going on. There is some beautiful pieces of furniture here. 
Uh, most every item here is for sale. Uh, so if you're looking for that hard to buy person in your family, uh, man, you've got to come and see all of the things that are here at the museum. Now, not just the woodworking show that's going on, but but this, uh, this whole gallery uh, is for the public, correct? Yes, we are a community art center. We are here to support the local artist community. This area tends to draw talent, and uh, so we're never shy or we're never um, lacking for things to show here. Our exhibits change out once a month. You'll, you could see paintings here, you could see gourd art, that's another big show that we have during the year, or you can see this lovely handcrafted furniture that we're showing right now. All right, if you're a longtime member or, or if you've been around Kerrville for a long time, um, you know where this place is. It's the old post office, correct? Yes, the corner of Main and Earl Garrett. Uh, this is the, the uh, original 1935 post office building. Uh, in 2000, uh, KACC moved into this building and renovated it into this first class art space that you see now. What a beautiful yeah. place. Uh, now, the, the uh, furniture display is going to be here through December the 18th. Yes. And, and besides the furniture, um, you have to have tools to make this furniture. And, correct. And, and you also have a, a, uh, an antique tool yes. uh, display that's going along with the show here for the furniture, yes. correct? Yes, uh, James Goodson, who is a local uh, resident of Kerrville, uh, he has, for the past 10 years, been showing his antique tool collection. It's a one-of-a-kind tool collection featuring tools, anything from planes to um, drill presses and, and items that were used to make furniture back between the 16th and the 19th century. So wow. there's ancient and they're, they're actually art, works of art in themselves. What a cool thing. So uh, make sure that you, uh, when your family comes down for the holidays, that you come out here. Uh, what a great way to support local artists in our area. Uh, this is how they keep doing this stuff. You gotta come and buy these items so they can keep making them. And, uh, and once again, you have an opportunity until December December the 18th uh, to come down and see this display. We also yes. invite you to come down. Uh, the museum is uh, absolutely free of charge to Correct. get admission to, yeah. uh, but we would love for you to drop a little bit of money off in the donation of course. Uh, bucket because it, it takes some money to run this place. Correct. Correct. Right, and you know, all of the nonprofits in town right now are struggling because of some of the recent challenges uh, due to COVID and the shutdowns and everything. We're all hungry, um, but we can't promote these shows, we can't um, present these shows without the community support. So we really, we depend on it a great deal. Man, I'll tell you what, what a jewel in the Texas Hill Country. Come on down. Uh, the, Kerr, the Kerr Arts and Cultural Center uh, in right downtown. What's the address here? We're at 228 Earl Garrett Street. We are open uh, 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. All right, good deal. We're going to take the camera around this beautiful museum and show you some of these beautiful works of art. Uh, but come down and see them for yourself. We would love for you to come and experience uh, some of the artwork of the Hill Country. Thank you so yes, much. You. Thank you. I All right, appreciate we appreciate it. it. Hi, I'm Brenda Thompson with the Dietert Center. And from all of us, all of our volunteers, our Meals on Wheels volunteers, and all of us here at the Dieter Center, we want to wish you a, a Merry Christmas and Happy, Happy New Year. Year! Hi, I'm Holly Jones with Four Premier Properties. I'm Tanner Kaiser with Four Premier Properties. And I'm Julie Becker with Four Premier Properties. From our family at Four Premier Properties to yours, Merry Christmas and, and Happy, Happy New Year! Year. Hello everybody, here we are again. My name is Sergio Marquez Lopez. I'm the executive director for Brookdale Kerrville. Uh, tonight we are here at Pop Hair Art with Michelle. Hi. Hi Michelle, Happy how are you? I'm good, happy holidays to Same you. to you. Thanks. We are so blessed Thanks. to be at this community and be able oh, to yeah. enjoy these uh, amazing holiday season and great caring yeah. spirit as far as the community. Um, so as you can tell, we are here with Michelle and you see the word pop at the back. So yeah. Michelle, what does the pop stand for? So pop, it was actually the name came off of a sweater in my closet. My husband came up with the idea. Okay. It's pretty amazing, right? So pop has evolved to mean playful, optimistic, and passionate. And at Pop Hair Art, we are playful, optimistic, and passionate about our clients, our craft, and our community. Good. So yeah, we're pretty involved with the community. Uh, we're in our fourth year of operation and uh, it's going amazingly. Great. Guys, so when you walk into this business, when you walk into this uh, art place, as you can mm -hmm. call it, uh, it's amazing. You walk in and there, there's bright colors that you can see in the background, mm -hmm. very clean, very organized. Um, tell me a, bit, a little bit about how your clientele or clients, as you call them, how do they feel about your, your, your overall operation that you have here? Oh, so we have the most amazing clients on the face of the planet. I say that every single day. Um, they've given us 
Oh, over 490 reviews on Google. We're still ranked, we're ranked a five on Google. Guys, everybody kinda... knows how hard it is to get those reviews yeah. at Google and yeah. to stay at a five star. That is amazing. Yeah, that speaks a lot for so your that, work. So that speaks, yeah, to, to the clients. We are um, really focused on the full experience from start to finish, from the minute the client walks in the door until they leave, they're not allowed to work. Mm -hmm. We don't have clocks hanging around. They don't hand us uh, foils and end papers and different things that would normally be a part of, sure. of a service that they're receiving. Um, they send all their friends and family. We have a really good time. I have an amazing team of people that I work with. We currently have six stylists mm -hmm. on the floor and everyone does beautiful work. Um, some specialize in curly hair, some work with really well with fine straight hair. Uh, it's you have any type of color, as you can see on the wall here. Oh, yeah. You have well, all kinds of different colors that you yeah. actually take care of. Uh, if clearly, anybody comes in here, we love color. Love her hair, love color. as you can tell. <laughs> um, we love color. And, and you were yeah. talking to me about something a little bit different that makes you different from anybody else around here, too. You actually went to Florida and got some training. I did. There, I just went to Miami. So the biggest thing about Pop Hair Art is that we are an advanced education salon. Mm -hmm. And I started it because I had the privilege of growing up in an area where there was teaching salons. So when you come fresh out of school, you don't really know what you don't know, sure. like with anything. So we have a structured program that the brand new kids, kids, adults, that come out of school go through for anywhere from six to eight months so they can really hone their skills. And we as a company, Pop Hair Art as a company, have taken our salon team um, every year since we've opened to some kind of major event that we actually cover most of the cost of. So wow. this past year we went to Austin, a three and a half day hair show in Austin. Mm -hmm. um, the year prior to COVID, we all flew to New York City. We've been to Los Angeles. Um, a teammate and I went to Dallas for a, an intimate training with only 20 people in the room. We do hands-on education here every single month. We are partnered with the manufacturer r Co., which is based in Miami, an American company, mm -hmm. which is really important to us. And they have actually sent their lead global educator. We were handpicked mm -hmm. from salons from Austin, Houston, and San Antonio and the greater areas. Wow. That, that whole area is our brand manager's service, area that she services. Mm -hmm. We were her number one pick to have an educator come in to teach us. So we wow. had a three hour class with him with just our team. It's just amazing. So that is great. Yeah, guys, as you can see, uh, she obviously steps on top, stays on top of new trends, uh, what's coming out, what's new, what's hot. Uh, if you want to get your hair done and want to make sure that you look great, make sure you stop by and see them. Where are you located, and how can they get a hold of you? So, couple ways. Well, we're located at two two three Clay Street. Mm -hmm. We are the standalone building behind the Bank of America with that amazing mural you that the Tidy the High School Art Department did. As part of the community, like we hosted, looks great we hosted out there. Little Seed here as well. We love our community. Um, so two, two, three, Clay Seed. You can also find us on the on the web, okay? okay. Pophairart.com, and Instagram, and Facebook, and Google. They're and out Yelp. there. They're everywhere, <laughs> All guys. The things, yeah. That's something you should know. Yeah. Amazing work. You walk in here and you feel already refreshed just walking into the into the salon. Once you actually leave and you get a haircut and you look great, make sure you come out and see them for this holiday season and that you look fresh. And thank you. Thank, thank you, you for so everything much, that you Angel. do for the community. And we appreciate yeah. you. Thank you for spending some time with us tonight. Thank you. And, and you look amazing. Thank you. Love, love the elf. Thank you. The thank you. Gig. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Sandra with La Escondida and 1962 Barber Company. And we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi everybody, uh, Angela with More Tone Furnishings. We want to take this opportunity to wish you all the very best for the festive season. So from everybody here at Moore's, we want to say... Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, Happy New Year! Hey, it's uh, Justin and we are with Clayton from Gold Cup Pond. Now you guys have a family of pawn shops. Tell us a little bit about the shops that you guys have. We do, not only do we have Gold Cup Pawn Shop, we also have Central Texas Gun and Pond on the other side of town. Okay, so uh, a couple of pawn shops to serve the Hill Country area. If you're looking for a little extra cash, during the holiday season, tell us some of the items that you guys are looking for. Well, we always need a little extra cash, but if you dig through your drawers, broken jewelry, tools, anything you got, just bring it in. We'll be happy to assess everything and then get get you a good price. All right, now, uh, not all of the items at uh, Gold Cup Pond are used. You guys have a, a wide selection of new jewelry. 
Uh, and then you also have a selection of jewelry that comes from the estates around our area. Right. We have estate jewelry. We have vintage jewelry. We also have brand new jewelry. We actually go to market Las Vegas, New York to purchase some really special items. Wow, okay, so when I come into a pawn shop, I'm one of those guys that like to haggle a little bit. Is oh. it, can, can you haggle with you guys, or, or, or is the of sticker course, price the price? But you have to be nice. Okay, all that's right. All. That's, that's all we ask. That, that's the fun part of coming to a pawn shop, I that's think. That's right. I'll tell you what, another thing uh, that, that they have uh, been so gracious, uh, they are one of the uh, Blue Santa drop-off locations this year. So uh, if you have a toy that you would like to drop off, we would love for you to stop by Gold Cup Pond or, or any of their pawn shops, Correct. I believe both of them are. Uh, and you can drop off that toy. Uh, all the toys will be collected at Christmas and uh, they will go to Blue Santa programs uh, right here around the hill country. Such a wonderful area. cause. Yeah, thank you guys so much for doing that. All right, Clayton, tell us uh, the hours of operation uh, for the pawn shops. Um, this particular location is open from nine to 5.30. Okay. And our jeweler, who's here is also here during that time here at Gold Cup. Our other location is open from 10 to six. Okay, good deal. So uh, there's a, a couple of hours for you uh, that they're open. So uh, like he said, if you need a little extra money during the holiday season, uh, come in and see what they can do for you. Or uh, if you're looking for that special gift for that hard to buy person, uh, this is the place to be. It sure is. All right, thank you so much, Clayton. Thank you we so much. It. Hi, I'm Angela North. I'm Laura Gregory. And I'm Brad Barnett with the Kerrville Area Chamber of Commerce. And for our 835 members and our chamber family, we want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'm Ashley Boyle, Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Kerrville. And from our family to yours, we'd like to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, happy holidays. holidays. Hi, folks. This is Rose the Elf from last year. I'm sure you remember me on TV. But I'm down here on Water Street at one of our newest little shops, and Renee has some wonderful, wonderful stuff down here, and I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit about it. Renee? Hey y'all, we're at 826 Water Street. Uh, name of our place is Mystical Musings. Got a big old dragon on the tower on the door. Uh, the door is pink or coral. And uh, what we offer, we try to source most of our products from uh, local suppliers and we have wreaths, we have crystals, we have herbs and cards, crosses that have all different kinds of stones and river rocks, statuary. Um, and our goal is kind of, we've been here since May and, and our goal is to just keep the vibrations high, make sure that it always feels like holiday season, not just November and December of the year. We tend to get stuck in the past instead of in the in the present or we go to the future instead of the present and those places tend to just bring us stress and anxiety and worry and if we try to remember come back to the present and live in the now that we'll always have our holiday spirit and we try to give you that energy when you come into our store amen who doesn't need that type of energy you know the holidays are supposed to be an upbeat type event and holiday for everybody and experience for everyone and i think renee is kind of at the pinnacle point of being able to help everybody get on that high spot. So thank you very much. I hope you come down here and visit Renee and she's open. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 to seven. And the second Saturday of each month at 6 p.m. we offer free class to the public. We have drawings and um, just give everybody a ticket who comes in the door and give away three or four items during it that have to do with whatever we're teaching at that time whether it be mediumship or astrology, uh, tarot, um, any kind of cleansing and clearing. And so please come join us for our free classes on uh, the second Saturday of each month at 6 p.m. And we'd love for you to just come hang out at our store and get some of that holiday spirit anytime you need it, not just the holidays. And we have a visitor back here. Oh, Hi. yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready for the holidays too. He's so y'all come on down to Water Street. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Rebus from Kerrville Family Dental, and from our family to yours, we wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good evening, everyone. This is the Kerrville Convention and Visitors Bureau, and we are here to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good evening, everybody. My name is Sergio Marquez Lopez. I'm here with Turtle Creek Olives and Vines Winery, and I'm with Sue and Dan. Welcome, and thank you for joining us this evening. Tell us a little bit about your location and what you provide here for the city of Kerrville. 
Um, well, we're um, we're a we're a winery that is located. We're this is our tasting room in this particular location, an 1890 historic Masonic building, mm -hmm. and we. Uh, um, grow our grapes in a vineyard about eight miles from downtown on Lower Turtle Creek and we have 11 acres there now and we have mostly red varietals. Um, we just planted seven of those acres this past spring and um, anyway the first four acres we have our uh, six of our own private label wines all Texas fruit and then we have um, wines from around the world um, bubbles and charcuterie small plates uh, custom gelato from Oro Bianco in Blanco, Texas. We also have olive oil from Umbria, Italy, and some Texas olive oil as well. So guys, as you can see, not only do they have a variety of wines here that you can come and enjoy, but they also take care of olive oil. That's something that you all take care of and specialize as well in. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for an evening to where you can come out and relax, just enjoy a cup of wine or, you know, Come out here and see them. This is an amazing place where you can come in and relax. You walk in and everything is perfect. They do have a sitting area upstairs as well. So if you're looking to have some fun, there's a pool uh, table upstairs that you can definitely enjoy. Um, there is an amazing view from upstairs as well that looks into mm -hmm. our Garrett Street from the yes. bottom. So mm -hmm. when the parade's going by, you know, if you are interested in having a cup of wine, make sure you go up there and enjoy that view as well. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your... Um, what else do you provide besides not just wine, but obviously when we, w we walked in, we saw a couple of people enjoying some food as well. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, like I said, we do um, uh, have charcuterie boards, which is a combination of meats and cheeses, fruits, nuts, chocolate, um, maybe a little olive oil, mm -hmm. um, jam. Anyway, we, we make these beautiful boards and we, get, uh, we, we obtain all of our meats and cheeses um, from local merchants in the in the Texas area, and um, we have our fresh lamb meatballs in our small plates that we raise our own lamb, and so we have a beautiful uh, lamb plate. We have other small plates as well. So um, it's this is a nice place where it's like a little parlor, mm -hmm. I guess, is um, more uh, less like a real traditional kind of winery tasting room, but more like a parlor. I, I might add sure. it, you know, quiet. Um, uh, music where you can have a conversation with your bottle of champagne or your glass of wine and your food and then watch Turner Classic Movies with subtitles sure. while you're uh, enjoying that moment. And then if you want to enjoy it right outside, they do have a beautiful sitting area right outside mm -hmm. of here at the back also that they, um, you're able to go out there and have that uh, drink with you and just relax and have a beautiful conversation with your loved ones or a friend. Uh, make sure you come out and check them out. They do have a lot of, as you can tell in the background, they have a lot of wines here available to you that you can taste and everything from red or white. All of those things are available to you. Make sure you check, come out and check them out. Talk to me about your staff. Okay, you, there is a lot you. of staff coming in here and uh, taking great care of uh, all your customers here. So tell we'd us like a little to about introduce, your staff. We'd like to introduce wine, uh, our, our wine club manager, Casey Weber, okay. who um, does a fabulous job of making all of our wine club members um, happy and uh, satisfied. So, so what do you need to do to become a wine club member? Just come in here and talk to me and I'll sign you up. Okay. You can just do it on the iPad or you can even fill out online. We have a, on our website you can go and fill out. What's our website? So turtlecreekallsandvines.com. Okay. So if you're interested in becoming a club member as well, make sure you stop by and, and see them. And what's your location again? 211 Earl Garrett. Okay, so make sure you stop by and see these folks here. Again, perfect place to relax. Make sure that you come by and buy a bottle. Who doesn't want to drink wine in these holiday seasons? So make sure you stop by and see them. Thanks. Merry Christmas from River's Edge Gallery. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Yay! I'm Wally from So Fast Printing. And on behalf of our family here at So Fast Printing, we'd like to wish you and your family Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hello, everybody. My name is Sergio Marquez Lopez. I'm here with Zen and Alchemy uh, with Risha and Heidi. Welcome, ladies. I'm glad you were able to join us today. And we're going to be talking about what they provide for the community. Okay, we are here. They're going to be talking about some of the things that they do. Uh, of course, everybody cares about their health nowadays. So some of the things that you can find them with their um, shop here is going to be body health, correct? Yes. What's something that you all provide for the community? 
Well, we have four um, we have four treatment rooms, which will be available for massage therapists and any other kind of holistic or natural health individual um, to work on their clients with. So okay. we'll have plenty of room for that. How, how do people go about scheduling those sessions with you? Do they come by or can they call you? What's your location and information to get a hold of you? We're at 229 Earl Garrett Street. And if you come in and talk to us first, then we can tell you what the, who the different practitioners are that can provide services. Right. And then we can get you in touch with them directly. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Guys, I also see there's a lot of things in this shop. Not only do they focus on uh, body health, but they also provide a lot of uh, things that you can come out and buy. We have anything from Western art that I can see it displayed. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a lot of things from like Christmas ornaments yeah, yeah. that you can purchase. And as you can see, there's a lot of clothes here as well that they have for you to come in and purchase. Tell me a little bit of the items that y'all provide and uh, how many vendors do y'all have available here? Do you want to go? Sure. We have, um, we'll have 30 places available for various vendors. We'll have jewelry, clothing, art, um, accessories, um, okay. gifts for Christmas. So lots of things Good like Good place that. to shop for Christmas. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. everyone. So if you are shop shopping local. for uh, anything for Christmas, I know Christmas is going to be coming up, make sure you stop by and see these ladies. They have a wonderful store that has a lot of interesting things in here that you can find. Yeah. Uh, make sure you come by and schedule your health appointment, making sure that you're taking care of yourself, making sure you're available for your loved ones this coming up Christmas, and that you provide all kinds of neat stuff here. Um, there's also another thing that you mentioned as far as vendors, you have a approximately 30 vendors, and all of those have different things that they bring in, correct? Mm -hmm. what, what else do you have besides the Western and the Christmas stuff that we talked about? Well, uh, of course the jewelry. We have lots of crystals and um, uh, things that people might be interested in geology. We have um, two different vendors for that. Um, all kinds of antiques and th um, just various unusual finds. Okay, perfect. Not only do they provide these items for you, but they also have some classes that you can attend as well here. Um, talk about these classes and what are they? Okay, some of the classes are gonna be body movement classes and we'll also, ha we hope to have cl uh, art classes and music classes. We hope to have even um, uh, book readings, poetry yeah. readings. Natural okay. health classes, Natural herbology, health classes. all kinds of things like that. And y'all mm -hmm. talked about yoga classes maybe as well? Possibly, Possibly. Yeah. So for everyone who's interested in yoga and wants to just get some time away from your kids or family, have, find a uh, quiet place, you're more than welcome to come and see these mm -hmm. ladies. That will definitely be able to help you out and take care of you. Uh, I'm Julian from Nobility and from our family to yours, we wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. <laughs> My name is Clint Franklin with Telus Equipment Solutions. From all of us here, we'd like to wish you and your family Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. As mayor, I'm excited about Christmas once again. First, because we are honoring and remembering the birth of Jesus Christ and all the special events uh, associated with that and the church services. It's a, it's a great time, a festive time. The holiday lighted parade, the events at the courthouse, the beauty of Tranquility Island this year lighted up. The decorations that we see all over the place. But I want to emphasize something else. As mayor, I have emphasized Kerbal kindness. You see Kerbal kindness so strong at Christmas. Notice, if you would, all of the organizations and individuals that step up to try to make sure that the children that may not have much at Christmas can have some gifts and clothes this year. The people that might be lonely at Christmas time, neighbors and others reach out to them. Also, I've noticed the sensitivity of our citizens to people that work on Christmas Day and, and Christmas Eve, whether it's someone at the convenience store, it's a nurse, a first responders. People are saying, Merry Christmas, thank you, and are just being very gracious. So, from the mayor, Merry Christmas.